Is it possible for an object moving with a constant speed to accelerate? Explain. A. No. If the speed is constant, then the acceleration is equal to zero. B. No. An object can accelerate only if there is a net force acting on it. C. Yes. Although the speed is constant, the direction of the velocity can be changing. D. Yes. If an object is moving, is it experiencing an acceleration? Now, to solve this problem, we're going to systematically go through each of the choices and figure out whether or not they are correct. So, choice A says, no, if the speed is constant, then the acceleration is equal to zero. Now, the thing to remember for this one is the difference between speed and the velocity. So, the acceleration is telling you the rate at which your velocity is changing with respect to time. So, A is equal to delta V over T. So as your velocity changes your, over a certain amount of time, you're going to have an acceleration. Now, the thing to remember, though, is the difference between the velocity, which is a vector, and speed, which is a scalar. Now, the difference between the two is that the velocity requires direction, whereas the scalar doesn't require one. So, whereas the speed may remain the same, the velocity could, in fact, be changing direction, which we are as we're moving around in, in a certain path. We could be changing our direction, but overall, our speed, the magnitude of our velocity, can remain the same. So, choice A, we can rule out now, because we understand that there's a difference between velocity and speed, so we have to take into account that. B says no, an object can accelerate only if there's a net force acting on it. Well, they're asking, is it possible for an object moving with a constant speed to accelerate? So B is saying no, an object can accelerate only if there's a net force acting on it. This isn't really answering our question of can an object be moving with a constant velocity to accelerate. This is just saying an object can only accelerate if there's a net force acting on it, which we don't really care about is the net force acting on it. We want to know about is the force going to contribute to a constant speed even though it is accelerating. So choice B also does not answer the question. Choice C says yes, although the speed is constant, the direction of the velocity can be changing. Now here is the distinction that we were talking about before, the difference between speed and velocity. The magnitude of our velocity can remain the same along the path, which would give us a constant speed, but because velocity is dependent on direction, it can be changing as it moves around. Now, this section is on uniform circular motion, and so we understand that if we have a circle, and we're moving around in a circular path, we have a specific magnitude, say this is our velocity. Now, when we're up here, we're going to have the same magnitude of our velocity, when we're here, we have the same magnitude. When we're down here, we have the same magnitude of velocity, which the magnitude of the velocity is the speed. So in another way of saying this, our speed is constant as we follow this path that whatever we're spinning around in a circular motion is going to follow. So now the velocity at all the points along the circle, speed, the magnitude of the velocity, is going to be constant. While our velocity is constantly changing because not the magnitude, but the direction is shifting as it moves along the circle. So here, the velocity is directed upwards. Here is directed to the left. Here is directed down. And here is directed to the right. But they all have the same magnitude, which is the speed. So we know that C so far is a correct answer. D states, yes, if an object is moving, it experiences an acceleration. Well, this is just a very general and bro broad statement, which is only true for certain situations. So if you just pick one and ask if this is correct, the best one I want to do would be if we have a car on level ground, or just say we're moving a box, it's going to the right with a velocity of v, a constant velocity also. 
So now D states that if our object is moving, it's experiencing an acceleration. But we just stated that it's moving with a constant velocity over this surface here. We're going to assume we have no friction. So if this is the case, then our object is in fact moving and not accelerating. So D also doesn't make sense. So in the end, the only correct answer is C. Yes, although the speed is constant, the direction of the velocity can be changing. So our answer for this problem is C.